In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up this Raspberry Pi 3 PlayStation Classic clone. In my opinion, I would take this any day over the PlayStation Classic. I understand some of you out there are all about the PlayStation Sony branded products. With that said, you know, I, I get it. But once you see this, I think you might be a Pi believer. This is the PSX V3 MLP Matlab Pixel. This is his version three, 256 gigabyte PlayStation build. Um, this will work for the Raspberry Pi B and B plus, and it's running a motion blue base image for the Raspberry Pi three. And I'm just the first thing that should happen is you should be prompted to set up your controls. I see that just messed up there, but I'm going to go back and fix that. Uh, but I want to show what this will look like on first boot. Um, this is a 256 gigabyte SD card that I am running it on a SAN disk and um, right trigger, left trigger, I just want to make sure I got those set up and uh, the actual file size is 216 gigabytes which is 232,358,819,000 bytes. Let's make sure I got this. All right, now I'm all set. I'm using select as my hotkey enable and uh, you download it, you write the image to your SD card, you boot it up in your Raspberry Pi and boom, this one is pre-set up with 500 PlayStation games. And they all have video Let me lower my sound a little bit. They already have video snaps and everything. Cool thing about emulation stations, you can hit select. You can go down. So you want Crash Bandicoot, just go over to C. And, oh, I just changed the... the uh, And there you go, Crash Bandicoot 1, 2, and 3. No hacking required, just working off the bat. Now some of you are like, oh, I want it to look like the PlayStation Classic. Well, that's quite easy to do. All you do is you want to hook your Pi up to the Wi-Fi by going to RetroPie here and do, do a Wi-Fi setup. By the way, this does have a track mode, and I'll show you that a little later. It comes pre-installed, and it's actually really cool looking. But I want to do this video to show you how you can make it just like your PlayStation. And you can do this with any image. There's lots of images out there, like Virtual Man, Wolf Nose, that have these great 128, 256 gigabyte images that still have like 100 or 200 PlayStation games, but then they also have um, they also have all the other systems as well, which I would prefer to do that. But if you're gonna, again, the PlayStation Classics rule in the news right now, everyone's like PlayStation Classic, PlayStation Classic. So let's uh, keep that going. So we're gonna go to ES Themes, which stands for Emulation Station Themes, and you got all these themes available to you. There's like over a hundred now. And uh, you don't have to download the theme gallery or update them at all because it should actually already work. But you do need the internet because you are going to be downloading the PlayStation theme. Okay, so we're going to scroll down quite a bit. And I already pre-installed it before I started recording this video. But when, if, you were, if you were following my exact same steps, yours would say not installed when we finally get to it. Now you can see here number 66 on this particular image. It's not always going to be 66 because if you update, it might have moved or whatever. But here you go. I can update it or uninstall. So mine's already in installed, but what I would have done if, I, if this was you, you just press OK here, and then it'll run through some, uh, it'll, you can see this, these little scripts on the bottom, and then it'll, it'll tell you when it's done, and then you're all done. So now I'm going to go to Cancel. I'm going to the right, Cancel. And now I'm back. You don't even need to restart your Pi. You just hit Start on your controller. Go to UI settings, user interface, and then you're going to go to theme set, and I'm going to change this to PlayStation. Then I'm going to hit back here, and you'll see here when I hit back again, I'm now on the PlayStation theme. This particular image has 500 PlayStation games, and then the RetroPie configuration menu. Those are your only two menus. So let's go ahead and click into the PlayStation, and here you have your PlayStation Classic. 256 gigabyte Raspberry Pi 3 edition. So performance is great. The emulator on this is great. You have uh, lots of options when you get into a game. You can press select an X and you can 
you know, edit any settings you want there in RetroArch. I am using an Xbox 360 style controller. I would recommend using a PlayStation 3 controller or a PlayStation 4 controller or a classic PlayStation 2 controller or there's a GameSir G3S or the Logitech F310 for a wired one or F710 for a wireless one. So this is before the bezels were out. You can absolutely install bezels. So instead of black space on the left and the right, you can have a little PlayStation logo, for example. I'll be DDD. You can absolutely save your states. You can change to analog to D-pad. You got lots of adjustability here. So here's Retro Arc, in case you were curious. So within this menu, you get a lot of vibrations in this game, FYI. A lot of feedback. Look at that, caught up already. Whoops, I got off the gas there. I'm gonna go through the water. Yeah. We're already in second. How many laps we got left? Okay, one more. You guys get the point. Start select out to go back to our PlayStation Classic. Okay, and you're probably wondering what games are on here. So we're gonna go somewhat fast because there's 500. Starting with Need for Speed, 40 Winks, Arcade Greatest Hits, Armored Core, Battle Arena, Bomberman, Breath of Fire, Broken Sword, Bugsy, Bust a Move. Contra, Capcom Generations, we have Clock Tower, Command and Conquer, Cool Borders, Crash Bandicoot, Croc, Dark Stalkers, Destruction Derby, we got Diablo, Doom, Duke Nukem, Earthworm Jim, Final Fantasy, Frogger 2, G Police, Galaga, Gran Turismo 2, Grand Theft Auto 1 and 2, Iron Man, Jet Moto 1, 2, and 3, King of Fighters, Lethal Enforcers, Legend of Mana, Magic the Gathering, Marvel vs. Capcom, Mega Man series, Metal Gear Solid series, we got Monster Rancher, Moto Racer, Namco Museum, Volumes 1 through 5, Odd Worlds, Parappa the Rapper, I know you guys are excited for that one, Primal Rage, Cubert, Bert, R Type Delta, Rampages, Raymond 2, Resident Evils, Ridge Racers, love those. Samurai Showdown, San Francisco Rush, Silent Hill, great game. Soul Blade, South Park games. Spiral 1 and 2, Star Wars games. Street Fighter Alpha and EX. Street Skater, Siphon Filter, don't worry, we do have Tony Hawk on here, I'm sure. Tekken 1, 2, 3, Tempest. Test Drive, Tobol number one, Tony Hawk Pro Skater one through four, Top Gun, Twisted Metal one, two, four, Small Brawl and three, Vigilante, both eights, wrestling games, all the Wipeout games, and WWF, more wrestling, X-Men, Xeno Gears, and Zero Divide. I was scrolling fast, that's why the videos take a second to load. Um, there you have it. Now. Lastly, I just wanted to show you a track mode. All right, so here is the track mode. You got a shoot 'em ups menu. You can add more menus if you want. PlayStation and options. Options is very similar to what we were looking at in Emulation Station. You have, you know, audio settings, Wi-Fi, IP address. Uh, go back to Emulation Station if you want to go back to that PlayStation Classic theme. 
Um, you can update your track mode. Don't do that though. Don't reset. You can change your loading screens, things like that. So utilities menu basically. Um, then when we go back though, you have that same PlayStation menu. You got a nice little intro video here. And when you click in, you now have a wheel. And you notice that the videos actually do load a little quicker in a track mode, just slightly faster. And you also get that CD art, case art. So this image initially was planned to be played in a track mode. So if you don't want the PlayStation Classic look, I would actually prefer it to just load in a track mode myself. As you see, it looks gorgeous, really fun. It would be cool if it was an arcade um, or on your TV uh, as well. And um, let me just pick a random game here. Um, you can all see we have all the logos set up on the right side here as well. Let's just say Capcom vs. SNK Pro. Press B on your controller and you're going to launch it. You're basically launching the CD file just like you would in Emulation Station. It's just the front end has changed. All right, so just like in Emulation Station, we're now in the same game. We can go to arcade mode, and it's gonna run just like the PlayStation Classic would have. Except, again, Raspberry Pi 3, you, uh, you can really expand that out. A lot of customizability as well. Terry, Dan, and Cammy. Turbo. And as you see, there are two players as well. The Raspberry Pi actually supports up to four players if the console allows it. But, you know, PlayStation, predominantly two player. Uh, but I could just plug in another controller and I would be uh, grooving around, you know? Let's karate chop this guy. Oh, he's catching up. There we go. KO'd him. And again, if you ever want to go into Retro Arc, just select an X. And if you want to exit the game, it's your hotkey plus start. And remember, in the beginning of the video, I set my hotkey to select. So therefore, it would be select and start, just like that. And you're back out to the attract mode. So there you have it, the PlayStation Classic 256 gigabyte uh, image. If you were to part this all together, you get a Raspberry Pi power cable, HDMI cable, and then the 256 gigabyte SD card, which is really dropped in price, like down to $40 or so. You should be able to get this entire setup for about $100 uh, with controllers, potentially, depending on which controllers you choose. And um, you know, it has expandability, more customization, all kinds of stuff. Again, you don't get the Sony PlayStation branding. I get that, but you still have the RetroArc core, all the adjustability. You have all the video snaps, previews, a theme that similarly matches that of the PlayStation. So for all those reasons, I love it. This has been out for a really long time, but I think it require it, you know, deserves to be shown again because um, you know, way before Sony decided to do this, we already had great solutions for this great classic classic console. With all that, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.